So back out with RB on this Titan. And this one belongs to James. <laughs> that is a ride test for his viewing. Now this one came in. Uh, I've been riding this quite a while and obviously we haven't found any issues with it. But as soon as the customer gets it back, it's cutting out on him. So hence the reason why, obviously done three and a half thousand miles, I am going to give it a really spirited ride. And uh, we changed the full loom on this. It kept having cutting out issues. Put a full loom on it. Thought it might have been the fuel pump. The fuel pump runs absolutely fine. But then he said after about 20 miles in, it was cutting out on him. And it's taken him ages. It won't start. It won't do anything. It just sits there. And, uh, uh, uh. So we had a feeling it might be getting a little bit hot. Now I've just clocked it off a 60 mile an hour. <laughs> God, these Titans did not. So for anybody watching, what's the top speed of a Titan? Around about 60. Now obviously James is a little bit uh, heavier than me. He's a bigger guy. About six foot two as well. So he's not a tiny guy. But he does ride a lot of hills and ponders the question is the engine getting a little bit too hot so reason why i am going to take it out and give it a spirited ride but hence the reason why i am staying local last thing i want to be doing is pushing this especially with my back the way it is playing up at the moment so I'm going to be absolutely hammering it up and down the same bit of your carriageway for about five or six times. And I've got a feeling it's just getting a little bit hot, one of our riders over there. Let's give me the nod. Hello, Wildby. So, hence the reason why I think this engine might be getting a little bit too warm. And then obviously once it gets cold, it gets back to us. All good. So I'm going to be absolutely pushing it down the dual carriageways. And for all of you that are wondering what the top speed of a Titan is, once we get it up to speed, oh, there we go, 60, 62, 63, and he's off for the corner. But I am going to absolutely spirit this ride up, just see if I can get the engine really, really hot. And obviously he does a lot of hills, so I've got a feeling that the engine, obviously with his weight and size, might be getting a little bit warm. But we shall see. I'm going to go about five or six times up and down this dual carriageway. Now it is in tomorrow to have the tappets redone and a new spark plug. We've already done that once on the last time that we had the issue. But I did say to uh, Phil, is it the fact that it's getting a little bit hot and obviously tappets are getting a little bit hot and tightened and it's just losing its power and just giving up the ghost so backwards and forwards up the dual carriage with once again 60 mile an hour and I am going to be riding this obviously oh, another one of our Titans <laughs> I've seen a lot of our customers today out riding obviously it's getting close to clocking off time there we go, 62 again. So for all of you that are, oh, my Titan only does 55. No, it don't. When run in, they should sit around about 55, 60. And obviously maximum speed on a dual carriageway is 60 miles an hour. In our area it is anyway. up onto the thing, round the roundabout, away we go again, another 60 mile an hour ride, cancel that indicator, I'm going to be doing this a few more times yet, nothing yet, no issues whatsoever, check the car over the shoulder, shoulder check, move lane,
It doesn't take long to knock up some more footage when you've got one of these you can go full bore on it. Brakes work lovely on these though. I do love these little scooters. Now obviously, while I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you about what's going on today. I've been called uh, the T word a few times and I've been called the C word a few times. Not phased, not phased at all um, and that is obviously due to the Instagram post that I put up this morning. I shared up a post about the uh, Lexmoto LXR. We know it's an LXR guys. Lexmoto have advertised that uh, the new LXR unveiling is going to be next Monday at 10 o'clock. Now obviously I've reshared that post and a lot of people are like RB, come on, you're the man in the know. What is going on with the new LXR? Has it got a bigger engine? Has it got this? Has it got that? And all I have said is no comment. Wait till next Monday. And I've been called the uh, the C word for it. Come on, you know the bike. You know the, what it is. Come on, give dish the beans. Dish the beans. No, sorry, I will not dish the beans. We have been sworn to uh, secrecy by Lexmoto. And anybody that obviously does breach that confidentiality could lose a dealership, I could lose my job over it, or get a serious rollicking, and I am not risking it for the sake of letting people know early what the LXR is going to be. So, unfortunately guys, you're going to have to wait. Yes, I have seen the photos, yes I know what the bike looks like, and I know everything about it, but I am not breaking that confidentiality agreement that I have and I have got a very, very good rapport with the boys at Warranty and obviously our dealer, our uh, obviously dealer manager that deals with uh, Lexmoto that we deal with for ordering bikes. And I've actually emailed him today and said, look, we know what it is, but I am not going to be sharing that information out. But there are lots of people on Instagram that are. And obviously I've reported those people. Flex Motors say to you, do not mention anything about the bike. Don't mention anything. And obviously for not mentioning, I am getting called a few names under the sun. It really doesn't faze me, guys. At the end of the day, I ride Lex Motos, I ride other bikes, but if I am told not to say something, I will not. But obviously if we are riding bikes and uh, I've got the go-ahead, I will mention the pros and the cons about Lex Moto bikes. So, individual preference once again, but all I can say is, if you're waiting for that new LXR, it is going to be worth waiting for. It really is going to be worth waiting for. I sat there with an open jaw for about 30 seconds, um, until uh, obviously the boss of our garage, Phil, said to me, he went, what? And I went, look, and he went, ooh. So, that is all I'm going to say. You are going to be stunned, you're going to be amazed. But wait until the 22nd. That is when the unveiling is. Once I get the permission to go ahead, I will tell you all about it. But don't go asking me anything about the LXRs until I have the uh, authority to go and mention what it is. But you're going to be very pleasantly surprised. And that is all I am going to say. But I will let you know I've got one of each coming and I am going to be doing the very first test ride of that bike so watch the channel guys watch the channel but I would say if you're interested in an LXR it is going to go stupidly crazy roll on next Monday it is going to be absolutely mad guys and that is all I am going to say now end of subject moving back to this Titan I've lost count of how many runs I've done up the dual carriage radar and I am still sitting at 60. I'm trying to get this engine damn hot and I've had nothing so far. It is and obviously I'm flat out full throttle, I'm deliberately over fueling the bike. I could easily wind back on the throttle but I'm deliberately over fueling the bike and I want to try and make it fail. And it's not doing it. Come on, please. And it just shows you 
This Titan will not fail. I am throwing everything at it. I am really giving it a spirited ride. And it is not playing ball with me. It is not failing. So it just shows you. Titans do not fail. Please, come on. Well, keep the boys at warranty happy anyway. It's like Dave's out trying to make up the Titan fail. He's not done it yet. And if it does, I'm going to keep it in the video, but nothing, absolutely nothing. Please, die on me. I really want this bike to fail, just to... Because obviously the customer said it fails on me all the time. It fails all the time. It is not playing ball with me. I might need to, obviously, put it up a couple of hills. I've got another ride test booked for tomorrow at 2 o'clock, and I'm going to video that one as well. But I cannot get this bike to fail. I'll take just shows you. The damn things, when you want them to fail, they won't. But, obviously, under warranty, we will get it sorted. And it's only had a service on Saturday, so it's had its third service, and I am good to go. We did have a little bit of a creak from the seat, and that was just the fact that it's because he uses it on a daily basis, it's slightly rusted down there. We do with a coat of ACF, which I've done, and we've greased and uh, lubricated all those bearings down there. But he does use this as a daily commute, he does about four, 20 mile to work, 20 mile home every day. I'm absolutely riding this flat out max 62 mile an hour every time. Now, I think it might be down to the fact that obviously James is a bigger guy. And I don't mean as in wide, I just mean tall and very well built. A good customer, James, actually. But this bike will not fail. And it's going to chuck it down. I'm going to get wet again. Oh, great. Every time I get on a bike, I get wet. So I'm going to do two more runs on this and then what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to book it in for a really long run and I'm going to hit the hills in Brickhill, push it up the one in five hills, just see if I can get it to fail on a hill. But I've got a feeling this engine's getting a bit too hot. And obviously if an engine gets hot, it's going to get tight and it's going to, uh, ECU kicks in, add enough, bump, put the bike cool down, all good. But nothing yet absolutely not an iota out of this bike and i am really pushing it hard i am riding it riding it right on the edge of my riding limits as well i'm really pushing this bike hard so one more time wait got an indicator on there and hit it again come on bike I'm, I am really, I'm literally opening full throttle and just letting them revs build up, so I'm overfueling it every time, hard off the throttle just to try and see if I can make it fail nothing, absolutely nothing I'm pushing it into these corners, Jesus H on these little wheels <laughs> oh and that's when good hence why I get given the the hard ride testers obviously our younger rider Taylor tends to use the normal 40 mile an hour rides anything a little bit too difficult and pushing it to the limits on the tyres and the engine is all down to me every time I'm going to do one more run I really want to get a run in on this and I'm going to see if I can hold it at 60 as hard as I can even on the corners as long as I don't drop the damn thing. Really pushing it now. We can tell I'm overtaking taxis. <laughs> taxis don't hang around. And that's pushing it 55 into that corner. Hard on the throttle. Open it up again. Come on. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So it just proves the point. If you do push a Titan hard, it does take it. Now I would normally say, ride these 55 to 60, take your time with them, don't go pushing them to the limits, but, and again, hard on that throttle.
Viper, it just shows you how reliable the Titans are. As I say, they are a bomb-proof scooter. Absolutely bomb-proof. And I'm catching, even catching up with the traffic now. I'm really catching up with these cars. Back it off, leave my uh, braking distance there. Not a thing. Right, time to head back to the garage. I think a long, spirited ride tomorrow. And we'll get some more miles on it. I might have to be out for about 40 minutes to an hour tomorrow doing this next ride test, so I think that might be an edited video on that one, but she's not doing a thing. I'm hard on the throttle again. Nothing. I'm trying to overfuel it as hard as I can, and it's just not having it. It's just, go on, give me more, give me more. Yeah, just shows you what the Titans are like. Good every time. Back down to 30 though, because the camera. And that was a really hard, spirited ride. I don't normally ride any customer's bikes that hard. But it took it all in its stride. As the Titan would, obviously it's had its third service, so it can be opened up. It should have been opened up the full bore now. But absolutely nothing out of that whatsoever no squeaks no rattles no annoying dings nothing and once again nothing oh you good little titan you you good little titan <laughs> i do like it when bikes prove me wrong you're shifting a bit darn quick for a 30 mile an hour area, mate. He must have been doing a good 50 down there, and this is a 30 mile an hour road. There we go, if someone wants to uh, obviously download that video, send that into the uh, the local bill. But I just take it in my stride if people want to drive like an absolute TWA, then do so. It's your, your life you're risking. So ride test over guys, part two tomorrow, rev bomb out, and as always be well, stay safe, and it's a goodbye from me.